What's up guys, welcome back and it's time for another video. So this is just a short and quick one today, so pretty snappy, but um, it's an interesting one um, and it's something that I've been asked a little bit about from time to time, but I've never actually taken the uh, time to actually investigate the issue, but um, I actually have over the past few days. So have you ever taken out your iPhone or phone in that matter in really, really bright conditions just to take a photo, it could be a photo that you really, really just want to get in that moment. Um, and then afterwards, you notice that there's this horrible, ugly blue dot. This can also even occur when you're taking the photo. But often, if you're like me, it's always after you've taken the photo. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of break this one down today. So unfortunately, it does not have anything to do with your software or software running on your phone. It's got nothing to do with Android, it's got nothing to do with iOS. Basically what it is, it's the hardware. And really the core issue of why this dot occurs is just simple physics. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, so what it actually is, is it's specific rays of light coming through the camera lens and the sensor and um, reflecting at a specific angle. That's basically it. It's probably even more annoying when you don't actually notice it when you are taking the photo. However, there are some techniques after investigating and actually putting it into practice myself um, that you can actually use to get rid of the dot or, um, or reduce it. So the first is when you spot the green dot. Um, this trick works quite well if you place the phone directly into the most source of light which is coming through into the photo. So you can see this in your viewfinder. So where the most light is actually coming in, if you actually place your phone in that direction, what you will find is it may completely disappear or if not, it may reduce um, quite significantly. The second, um, and I'm not really such a fan of the second, but the second is you can actually try to cover up part of the camera. So sometimes this can work, sometimes it can't. Um, it really is hit and miss. Um, but the cool thing is these days you can actually buy these really, really funky little um, uh, snap-on lenses. So there's a ton of different manufacturers that make these. Um, I actually own a set of lenses by a company called Black Eye, and I really, really like them. They're fantastic. Um, they actually make a hooded version, and these can actually shield the light, and they can actually alleviate this issue. Um, in most cases, it does. But like I said, you know, these these um, these lenses can be quite pricey. So um, if um, it's not really worth the money basically spending it just to get rid of a blue dot that appears every so often So that's really why I'm not such a fan of the second one. So outside of that um, You have the miracles of post-production to get rid of it. So um, The obvious one normally when you do see the blue dot in the photo, you're like, oh just Photoshop it out But not everyone um, has an Adobe subscription, but what I have found is um, you can actually download um Snapseed, and I didn't know this until recently, but Snapseed is actually owned by Google, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if that's always been the case. Um, so what we might do is we might go through a little walkthrough on how to actually get rid of this ugly blue dot um, using Snapseed. 